I'm Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. And the energy that's out here is the High Priestess and the Hermit, or have Pisces or Virgo in your chart. And um, on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is a lot of thought. So you guys could be thinking, dreaming a lot, thinking a lot. Um, I don't know, somebody could be thinking and dreaming about you. You know, whoever this person is, you know, Four of Wands is an energy of celebration. It's an energy of being happy. It's a strong, solid foundation, right? This is also about togetherness, a sense of community. Uh, Four of Wands is very, very stable energy. And underneath the Four of Wands is the Fool card. All right, the Fool card. Uh, a new beginning. A, a new beginning in something strong, stable, solid, happy, you know, vibrant, okay? The energy of the hermit is about self-reflection, okay? Reassessing. I feel like a lot of people are just sitting in the energy of reassessing, reflecting on the things that happened in their life. I know I personally have been reflecting on like a lot of things um, and seeing things. Because, you know, when you naturally, when you grow, that's just what happens, you know, like you should or you should be reflecting on things that you did in the past or things that happen. I mean, now, not too heavy now, but you should be like, OK, I have grown so much. A lot of y'all might be like thinking about how much you've just grown um, and, and changed, you know, and some of you guys are like, you know, man, there are some things I did. I would have done differently. Right. The High Priestess energy here is also the energy of trusting your intuition, um, you're listening to your gut, right? Um, you know, seeing something for what it is, the keeper of secrets, the keeper of knowledge. I mean, this High Priestess and Hermit energy is, is someone here who is very using their wisdom and, discern, and trusting their discernment, okay? This could also be you receiving information and dreams and downloads from again from spirit from god or whatever it is right um i don't know i just feel like you're getting a lot of clarity you're seeing shit for what it really is like no more cloudy vision i feel like you have a new sense you're coming into a new sense of self-awareness and it's beautiful um i i love it so the energy that we have for the energy energy oracle came out was the magician and the mirror, which is Gemini energy. This is the magician energy, right? You could be a Gemini. Okay, have that in your chart. I don't know if someone here is like all in their head about what they manifested. Like you could be thinking like, damn, I know I manifested something here and I feel like it's related to love because the daughter romance is here. Um, 33 and the number 53 is the uh magician in the mirror, and then we have the man holding a coin. You could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The number 43, there are 3333. Three, three, three. Um, yeah, uh, three. Okay, so I don't know if y'all have been seeing 333. Three, three. Or 3333 quite a bit here. Um, so that could be of some significance to you, but it looks like you've manifested a new partner, okay, or somebody manifested you, there's a masculine here. You could be the masculine that is, you know, going to have new love coming in or you manifest this masculine. I feel like it manifested you too, or they could be a Gemini. I don't know, but I just get the energy of like, we have magician energy here, high priestess energy and the hermit. This is very, very powerful energy. Um, very powerful. Uh, somebody here could be a healer. Um, I don't know, like, uh, or good with her hands or something here. Or this is just somebody here, like I said, who is very spiritual. They've done a lot of self-reflecting. Self -reflecting. They've done a lot of inner works. Just somebody's energy is just real good, like, and peaceful too. The, I don't, I don't get drama from this person at all. Um... I feel like somebody here just recently detached from from some form of drama or you need to detach from some form of drama here. Um, but somebody's like, where is the thing that I manifested? But we'll see. I'm going to pull some more, some more cards. And y'all, excuse me, my sinuses and my allergies, like I'm getting over a sinus infection. 
So I may call for sneeze and I am drinking tea. So yeah, hit the like button. And before you go, please, it helps the channel to grow. I appreciate you guys, but it definitely supports the channel. Okay, so please do that before you leave and subscribe to the channel here if you are not a subscriber. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for all of your support, you guys. What else we have here for 11-11? What else can a collective expect? Please and thank you. All right. Cornucopia. This is another card. Four of Wands and the Cornucopia card, which is 11, 11, 11. So hello. Thank you, Spirit. You are, somebody here is manifesting. <laughs> this is so good. Somebody here is manifesting a new abundant life like something an, another level like somebody's i feel like somebody's unlocking like you know how you're playing a video game i feel like you're just unlocking another level a new level and it's like a hidden level it, whatever level this is the level is cornucopia which is abundance be feeling an overflow of having more than enough and you know it looks like this abundance is going to come in i feel like in the form of some form of new opportunity but your life is just changing. You're growing and transforming and you're about to find new love, I feel like. Especially with Cornucopia being here and the door to romance. Yeah, the world. Look at that. You are, some of you guys could be traveling here. This is good. You're definitely leaving behind some old stuff, right? Because the world energy is about successfully completing cycles and then moving forward this is you achieving things in your life um and letting go of things that no longer serve you turning your back to certain things and just being ready for a fresh new beginning here we did see the fool right this is you like going on a new journey you're headed towards that you're headed towards that new world okay and and that's you heading towards a cornucopia the number 29 could be significant this this card is the number 29 right the hermit, the hermit and the high priestess is the number two and the number nine. Okay. So there's something significant about the number 29 and something very significant about the four of wands. Because this is the 1111 card, right? Uh, most readers view the four of wands as the 1111 card, which we already have cornucopia here. And they also view it as like twin flame energy. So this could be a twin coming in so what else do we have for what, what else can the collective expect man i told you blossoming abundance this is another three three of pentacles energy the three of pentacles energy is about self-mastery it's aristocrat energy right and uh, you know to be an aristocrat you have to have worked you this is energy of somebody working very hard somebody putting in a lot of time and dedication being a team player, being being open to receiving help, but also being open to, to giving help. Like, I feel like this has been you, right? And so this spirit is saying, you've been so great, right? At helping other people or being open to receive. I feel like there's been a really good balance um, and you've been doing a good job of maintaining balance, right? In your life. And however that looks for you, right? That could just show up in a lot of different ways and forms here but blossoming abundance is here with cornucopia i cannot make this shit up and it's another three so something here is very significant about the number three i mean this is really great energy you guys <sighs> like it doesn't get any better than this blossoming abundance and this cornucopia and the door to romance yeah, the angel of balance. Didn't I just say, like, I'm pretty sure I just said, like, there's been harmony and balance. Like, you've been doing a great job at, like, being open to receive and, and giving also to other people, allowing help, but also being helpful. And I feel like your spirit guides and your angels and your team, they see that and they want you, they know what you deserve, right? And they want you to make sure that... It's really like this is what you should be concerned about. Balance, balancing everything in moderation, but also making sure that there's an equal ebb and flow. You get what I'm saying? Not too much of this, not too much of that. Being open to receive, making sure you're not closed off. 
um, making sure you're not in hermit mode too much, but you're also, you know, getting out and spending time with your family and your loved ones. Throat chakra energy is here. Hmm. Why is the throat chakra energy here? Man, you are, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, wait, wait, yin and yang is on the bottom of the deck, right? We just talked about balance, right? We just talked about balance. We just talked about being open to receive because yin and yang, right? One person's the giver. The other, the other side of this is being open to receiving and the other side is the giving, right? This is the balance that, that, that spirit is talking about, right? And then I just say, you guys are doing a great job at like this balancing act and they see that you're doing amazing. And that is really what's got you in alignment for whatever this cornucopia and this blossoming abundance that's coming in for you, right? Right after Angel of, of Abundance came out, your fifth chakra, your third chakra, and your fourth chakra. Like none of these, I've never seen so many chakra cards come out and follow the balance card with yin and yang on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you guys went through, you went through some form of um, tower moment or whatever, you know, you your world changed. There were some sudden changes, some unexpected things happened in your life and you're, you, some things just kind of, or you just letting go of some old limited self beliefs and you're rebuilding who you are now, right? You're not who you used to be and you're not supposed to be, right? Um, and now you're like, your chakras are now in alignment, which is what's bringing in this cornucopia and this blossoming abundance and love. This is very beautiful energy. Like, wow, good, congratulations, you guys. Thank you. You guys, the sun card just came out. The number one, Leo energy. Libra energy is here too. You guys, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It's the yes card. It is the, uh, you know, card of fertility. Maybe someone here will be having children. Uh, I, I, Whatever is coming towards you that involves love or blossoming abundance, it's going to make you very happy that you're stepping into a very joyous cycle and time of your life. Okay, so be proud of yourself that you did this. You did this. No one else did it for you. You did this. This came from within. Hermit energy is here, meaning no one else did it for you. Other than a God, obviously, because you're, you're just co-creating, right, with them. You're just listening and being obedient. That's what this is. So now Spirit is saying, hey, okay, yep, here's this gift. You've grown so much. You're, you are now in alignment. And here are all these possibilities and doors about to open for you adjacent possibilities and you're not going to know which one to take which way to go in decision you're going to be like i feel like so many doors are going to be opening up for you guys so many i mean it's going to be a great time of your life congratulations contract on the bottom of the deck okay um again Make sure you're reading thoroughly. Some of you all may have like a new contract. This could be a new job. You could be purchasing a home, whatever it is. Make sure you're thoroughly reading this contract and you're paying attention to all the details. I do feel like at the end of the day, like there is some indecision because maybe there are some details that you need to iron out. Obviously, you need to always, always review things carefully and thoroughly. But I feel like for some of you, I don't know, some people may be, there could be competition with this hostilities energy here over a contract here, or someone could be trying to like get over on you or like, uh, you know, just so make sure you're paying attention to that. Make sure it work, it's working out for your best interest because people are going to always do what's in their best interest, especially if they're the one who's presenting you with the opportunity in the contract, right? So make sure you're paying attention to the details and the 
fine prints. Make sure you even have a legal team or uh, an expert take a look at it. Someone that can represent you who cares about who you are. Um, there could be competitive energy surrounding a contract. May this is you getting that contract and people maybe being hostile or jealous energy over that. You know, people are about to be seeing you do really well and stupid happy. The sun card, blossoming abundance is here. You're balancing door to romance, cornucopia, four of wands. You are on the right path. You are right where you're supposed to be right now. If, if there is any doubt in your mind, baby, that you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be, or if you're, you're unsure about, am I on, if you're questioning, like, are you on the right path? Yes, sweetie, you are where you're supposed to be. You are, even though it may have been rough, because you know, you don't just get to the world, the end of the world, the accomplishment. It's not all like lollipops and fucking gumdrops. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be tough. It could be tough. Um, I feel like you guys have spent a lot of time alone. Okay, let's see. Just reflecting through this transformational time of your life. You've done a lot of self-reflecting. Yeah, fresh start. Some of you guys are escaping from something or you're just starting over. There's someone here that ran away from you in the past that wants a fresh start with you, but I feel like you're not going to revisit that situation is what I see here. But there's a new opportunity here and Spirit wants you to release the past, right? Mmm, Divine Masculine just came out. Look at this. I'm telling you, you guys might be coming into union with a brand new twin flame that you haven't even met yet. Fresh start and masculine, or you could be a masculine looking for a fresh start. Remember, we did see the door to romance and the um king of coins here, right? <laughs> Look at that, right? That's the same energy. You do have a new person coming in here feel like you're going to be a little bit guarded or somebody's going to be a little bit guarded. Don't be afraid to show who you really are to someone. Ooh, the chaser's here. So we have runner and chaser. I think this is a twin. This is a twin. Observe. Somebody sees you. They're watching you. Wherever this person sees you, they're going to be very fascinated by you, very curious with your energy. This person sees you from a distance or they see you on social media or they see you online, maybe a dating app, wherever they or social media, whatever, right? Because people meet people all the time on dating apps and um, um, social media and stuff. And yeah, they're observing you. Runner chasers here. This is totally a new twin, and this is a new person. This is, I don't. I don't feel like this is an old person. More sun energy just came out. <laughs> I love it. More sun energy just came out. Yes, more sun. I'm telling you guys, this is good. The the the. Listen, remember I said the sun is a yes energy? What does this card say? Yes. It says the answer to your question is yes. Results, conclusions. So some of y'all are receiving news and results or so, something that you've been waiting for and it's a positive outcome. The answer is yes. You will get a conclusion and a resolution. If you're going through any form of legal battle or legal dispute, I feel like it's the, with the... Seeing the balance energy here and the sun card and, and all these other things and cornucopia and blossoming abundance, I feel like it's things are definitely turning out in your favor. A lot of you, this has to do with your business being more successful or doors opening for you in business if you're an entrepreneur, right? Um, or if you have a job in corporate America, I feel like there are some doors opening up for you there too. The, the big goals card just came out. Okay, some of you all have been working on a plan for a while, right? Um, and doors are just opening up for you. Yeah. Somebody said, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. You strategized. 
where you need to strategize, right? So I feel like, you know, this is not an energy where you just like, it just fell in your lap. No, like you worked hard for this. You put a plan in place or you took baby steps and you gradually worked towards something and you didn't give up. You didn't give up. You know, there's a movie I watched the other day and it was so inspirational, you guys. Nyad. I watched it on Netflix. So go watch it if, you, if you're into like inspirational movies. This movie was about a woman who was like 60 something, right? And she was like a swimmer in her 20s. And she went and was like, she tried in her 20s to swim from like Cuba to Florida. And she's like, she didn't make it in her 20s but in her 60s she was like i want to do this i want to do this i i don't want to like sit around and just wait to die or like people just want you to just sit down and be quiet when you're old like i need more uh challenge and more excellence in my life i need something more exciting and i've never given up on this dream and i want to do it and her friend who's played by jody foster she was like, no, you've lost your fucking mind. Don't do this. Sit down. That's dangerous. And she's like, no, I'm doing it. And you're going to coach me. Long story short is everybody told her she couldn't do it. Everybody. Everybody told her she couldn't do it. They told her why. They they And she tried. I mean, she took a bunch of stabs at this. She did. I want y'all to watch it because it's very inspirational and it's a true story. So, um, and the acting was top tier, top tier acting. But, um, anyway, I think I really just want to end it here because I feel like that's, I don't have to dig deep in this. Okay. I love you guys. This is beautiful energy and congratulations to you for toughening it out and sticking it out and. Um, just make sure that you um, open your heart up a little bit because you know this heart and this there's a heart in this closet and then it's being presented so like this may be new or is you know like going to be a surprise to somebody but also too the heart is in a um, cage be a little bit open I know you've been hurt but be open, okay? Because the man holding a coin is someone who is reliable, they're a dependable person, that's somebody who's willing to like uh, go long term, put in the work. They're willing to go slow and get to know you. Um, they're they're a very grounded person. Um, so they're not like show off, you know what I mean, type energy, but um, they, they, you know, I just feel like this person and you can trust them. Obviously, use your discernment, you know, but I'm just saying. But anywho, I love you guys. Cheers to new opportunities. Yeah, and choices and you being on your path. All right. Bye.